we arranged for a film crew to meet him at the famous Allenby Bridge over the River Jordan. And the brilliant thing about Nick was that I could totally rely on him. No matter where he was and what he was doing, he got to a phone or he got to a point where the film crew were going to meet him. And he did what we needed him to do and got it back to the programme. So I became a big fan of his very early on. Nick's training schedule was simple. Miles, miles and more miles. The great thing about Nick um, as a person to work with, as a, as a producer and director, was that his enthusiasm is beyond bounds and he comes up with massive, massively fantastic ideas. And then it was up to me to try and make those ideas work for television and particularly for children's television. Hello, I hope you're having a smashing holiday. The fact that we were, f we were filming someone on a real journey going round the world, it was something that hadn't been done before as far as any of us were concerned. It was um, a great innovation in terms of the fact that children would be able to see this actually happening for real and would be able to follow the journey. And then he was off. He was just one of those people that you say something and he'd say, yes, I can do it. And he made it work. I totally trusted him. If we came up with an idea, I knew that he would make it work and that I wouldn't be let down. And that I found very refreshing. <laughs>